Imagine you're at the store, the mall, wherever you like to go. Imagine you're walking into a place and everybody is walking out. What would you instinctively want to do? Probably walk out as well or ask people why they're walking Hey out. everyone, welcome back to Teaching with Tania. This is going to be a teacher talk, just me and you, teacher to teacher, because this topic's been on my heart for a very long time now and I just want to talk to you guys about it. I just want to preface this video by saying I know everybody doesn't have the same experiences, all that, but I do see that teachers are hurting because they love a job, but due to other systems, circumstances, or whatever the case may be, they're no longer able to do their job. So I'm talking to the past, present, and future teachers, teachers in general. So let's get started. Imagine you're at the store, the mall, wherever you like to go. Imagine you're walking into a place and everybody is walking out. What would you instinctively want to do? Probably walk out as well or ask people why they're walking out. You may even feel the need to walk out as well. So that's how I feel about teaching. I'm walking into a career field where a teacher retention rate is down. Everyone is going crazy trying to figure out what to do with all these low test scores and administration in some places is not the best. It's just so many different things that are weighing teachers down that are literally on their shoulders to bear. I've also seen, heard a lot of teachers saying, it's in the school year and it's my last time teaching. I'm leaving the classroom to do other fields or other type of work. And kudos to you, like, great. But my fear is that there's a lot of negative stigma around teachers and especially right now starting off with the future teachers i know myself into the future kind of current teacher category because i really i have not experienced my first year yet so with that being said future teachers like if you're going into this career field or you're in college or you're just thinking about you want to be a teacher it doesn't look pretty right now um just the weight of covid on top of all the things i mentioned previously it is a lot and i'm not gonna lie teaching is hard i'm fully aware of that but the reward of making an impact or teaching children the correct way to do things or even teach them about the world that we live in like that is such an honor um i don't want you to feel like you shouldn't or you should but at the end of the day, you have to make the choice that's best for you. But I'm even though I know I've wanted to be a teacher ever since I was little, I still have had second thoughts about it when I was in high school, my senior year, because you have this idea that teachers don't get paid that much or teachers are whatever society wants to think. Teachers are great, let me tell you. They are so impactful and you have the opportunity to change and be a positive light in little people's minds that you probably won't see the results quite yet but then you will also later on down the road they'll remember you and know who you are so to future teachers i want you to know that whatever your calling is whatever time you're going to teach god has called you to it god has called you to that time and then going into current teachers as of right now um for the class of 2020 that are going to be teachers or have found a job this next school year i would say there was a reason there's a reason for everything i believe i truly believe there's a reason for everything so it's a reason why we were students during the pandemic and now going to be teachers during this time so we know like i mentioned before you are called to such a time as this there is a reason you're teaching these kids and i also believe that the students that are in your class are there with you for a reason to learn from you to grow from you because of who you are and the way that you do it so keep up the good fight even though some days are harder than others i truly believe that you are able to do it despite the adults in the situation or people that may hinder you from doing the best job that you can't be so doing whether you are called to teach middle school high school whatever you're called to teach i feel like there's a reason for it and those kids that 
you have a certain drawing to like they need you so don't be afraid and it's hard because everything around us is telling us to be afraid to go into teaching when everything is going on in the world right now but trust me it will be okay there are going to be hard days just like any other job has hard days but i feel like teachers sometimes the hard days are amplified because you are changing lives and you're molding little minds that's what i have to say for future teachers now i want to switch gears going to thank you for all that you have done and all that you will do in the future because you have no idea the impact that teaching makes on little kids lives like i said before and if you're thinking about quitting or you are in between what you want to do next year i just want to encourage you to do what makes you happy if it's teaching keep teaching shoot keep staying in the fight and put up boundaries that allow you to teach while also have a social life because if you don't fill yourself up first how can you pour out and give students what they deserve as well just that have already put in their resignation or that are no longer teaching next year i just want to say also thank you for your service and you have made an impact on kids lives whether you know it or not or whether you feel that or not no matter how drained burnt out or however you may feel and i also don't want you to regret leaving the classroom even though i know it may be hard not to regret leaving the classroom but you will find your purpose in other things and that will definitely change the world as well we all have a gift inside of us whether it's teaching customer service whatever that may be just realize that there's a reason you're out of the classroom or maybe you've already done your service but i would encourage you to speak wisdom and encouragement on teachers that are still in it or want to be teachers because there is a lot of work that needs to be done and with the type of crazy world we're living in making sense of it and allowing a safe place in schools um will be very beneficial no matter why you are or are not going to be a teacher next year whether you're moving into leadership or you have other responsibilities you have to take care of whether it's your family or teaching is just not your thing anymore you've lost that drive i appreciate you taking that big step out of the classroom because i know other teachers or some teachers will probably just stay for the paycheck or just doing the kids a disservice because they're mentally checked out i feel like teaching is such a taxing job because i heard this analogy or this symbolism if you work in customer service you may have been a bad customer service representative that day but if you have a bad day teaching like that takes a toll on you because you know you're impacting kids and you're impacting lives so i just want to encourage everyone all educators teachers anyone that works with little kids that they need you and they deserve a great working mental healthy <laughs> mentally healthy adult in their life that can advocate for them and be the best that they can and that could be present in our lives. So I hope this video was an encouragement to you all. And if you wanna continue the conversation down below in the comments, I would love to hear from you or how you feel if you are a past, present, current, future teacher, whatever you are, let me know down in the comments and go ahead and watch these other videos and I'll see you guys in those. Don't forget to create a great day because you have the opportunity to do so. See you guys.